unit one. Unit one is going to cover only chapter one by itself. So unit one also will cover chapter one, which is topic one. But the chapter itself, uh, it's a long chapter, so it has like 10, ten sections in it. Uh, those are the, uh, the bullet points in those, uh, this chapter. So we're going to be talking about here uh, the rational numbers as decimals. And also we're going to be talking about understanding irrational numbers. So we have rational and irrational numbers that we're going to be comparing. And also we're going to talk about the order of real numbers here. Uh, evaluating this is not going to be a hard uh, chapter but you know it's a lot of general knowledge that we need to know before we start uh, with the book and then we're going to be talking about roots you know cubic roots what's the difference between square roots and cubic roots we are also going to be solving questions about uh, the square roots and the cubic roots and uh, then we're going to be start in to move a little bit forward we're talking about uh, property of integers and then we're going to be mentioning more of the properties of the integers. Uh, section 8 will be talking about the, the use of the power uh, of 10, which is, you know, when we use the scientific notations of 10, this is part of the sections, like 8 and 9, they go along with each other. And finally, we're going to do an operation with numbers in scientific notation. So you have 8, 9, and 10 are related. So just a general idea here this is what we're going to be going to be doing for this chapter so uh, it might not take us a lot of time because it's, it's just straightforward it doesn't nothing you know um, um, it's fancy in it so uh, just general knowledge of things uh, we're going to be jumping here to section one okay so section one here so we're going to be talking about like i said uh, Here's the title, the rational numbers as decimals. So if you have rational numbers and you have them in decimals, uh, we need to work on how to switch from fraction to decimals and decimals to fraction. Uh, and uh, we're gonna show you the way of doing it. And also if we have irrational numbers, how uh, we could deal with them by switching them uh, back to a, a, a fraction. And if you have continuously, uh, so all these details are going to be done in class. Uh, the next section, like I said, it's going to be talking about uh, the irrational numbers. So that it's always because we need to compare between rational and irrational. So you can see that section two, understanding the irrational numbers here. And um, the irrational means, uh, you know, number, numbers are not... Uh, you cannot be you cannot write them in, in a form of a fraction like a over b that means these numbers are considered to be irrational um, also we uh, will find out for example uh, that pi for example it's it's a, a number that is irrational like like i said this is this video is not meant uh, to explain uh, all the material but just to give you an you know an idea we're talking about square roots we're talking about perfect squares uh, anything in yellow uh, need to be mentioned. Uh, what else? We're gonna keep on going till we go to section 1.3. So 1.3 uh, will jump to a different thing, so which is comparing uh, uh, and ordering real numbers. So when we when we know, like for example, if I say, well, two is smaller than three, so this is easy, straightforward. But sometimes the fractions you need to know, you know. That, you know which fraction is, is smaller than which fraction uh, sometimes it's a little bit harder so you need to uh, do more of uh, calculations to be able to find out uh, I could I mean this is probably easier when you say the square root of certain number uh, definitely a square root of 12 is a lot uh, bigger than a square root of 10 uh, it doesn't take you know a lot of effort but when it comes to fractions now probably we need to do extra work so just to make sure that uh, we do have the right answer, okay? For example, here, you say, well, is the square root of uh, 32 more than 5 and less than 6? So, for example, we could just figure it out by getting closer to the both of them. So we know the square root of 25 is 5. We know the square root of uh, 36 is 6. So that means, yes, it is the square root of 32 is between those two numbers. Like I said, this is easy. So we're going to keep on going, 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 go. So we're going to get to one point. 
uh, uh, four, I think. Yes. So we're gonna evaluate them. So there's almost like uh, almost like there's two sections. Every two sections, they 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 complement each other. So we're gonna add more to them because now we have more knowledge. We're, we're gonna do the cubic roots here. So you could see that you know uh, we're just adding to it, adding to what we learned. Um, in, in class, we'll do them as, as a group, we'll do them as um, individuals, uh, we, we could uh, we do classwork, we could do so many things, so it makes it more fun, more easy uh, for you guys. And then we go to 1.5. Now we jump to a solving, which is the same thing, like relate to 3 and 4 and 5. So now 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, you consider them as a related subjects. Okay, so the materials are almost similar, but it's more comp you know more advanced. So you go to the next section; it's going to be more advanced than the other section. Uh, and then we'll go to 1.6. 1.6. I think this is going to jump to a different thing. So 1.6 uh, will be ah yeah using the property of integer exponents. So now we're talking about exponents. Now uh, in a way that like we're moving away from decimals and uh, fra uh, fractions. And now we're going to do powers, okay? So two times two times two, uh, it's how many twos do we have? We have three twos, so you could say two to the power three. We'll give you the same answer as saying two times two times two. Imagine you have two to the power of 100. Uh, so you're gonna be on your calculator, you, can, you, you cannot afford to say, well, two times two times two times two, all the way to 100 times. So now you, can, you could use the power, to, to substitute, so just a minute on the calculator, you can say, well, two to the power of 100, and you get the final answer. And definitely there's rules, you know, for adding and subtracting uh, when it has uh, scientific notations. Uh, there's a lot of things that we're gonna be learning. Uh, this is more time consuming, so this will take us more time. So this section and the one after that, it I think it's gonna be more time, you know, uh, for solving, more time, you know, to do, okay? and. Uh, that's it. So I mean, this is will be mainly the the, the chapter. So you're gonna go to chapter 1.8, 1.9, and you're done there. Okay, guys. So uh, like I said, I see you in school, and then we'll do them together. Will be more fun when we do things together. Okay. See you. Bye bye.